Squad Bump in the Night and 2K Originals, in my opinion, is the most fun part of this year's game. Not only because it takes things to another level when it comes to WWE 2K and wrestling games in general, but it also introduces some brand new larger than life characters, literally with the Swamp Father Bray Wyatt, Franken Strowman, the Demon King Finn Balor, Unleash Randy Orton, Wicked Alistair Black, and of course everyone knows <laughs> the Fiend Bray Wyatt. And one of those we're going to be focusing on today, Bump in the Night's Fiend Tower is what you need to complete to unlock the fiend and you're saying to yourself well i just download the dlc surely and i get the fiend no 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 that's not how it works in 2k20 you have to play through it to unlock it you can't just download the accelerator and just press a button and it's all done no this year you have got to play through all the towers and we're gonna do that in this video the entire thing the whole shebang but I need you to tell me first, do you breathe oxygen? If you are living right now because you're breathing oxygen, I need you to smack the like button as hard as you possibly can. And if you exist, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on for exclusive WWE 2K20 content. And this is one of the great things about Bump in the Night is the amount of superstars, attires, arenas, weapons. There's even a custom championship which you will see in the showcase which we completed and we're gonna show to you all in the coming days before 2k20 releases question is what are we waiting for let's get right into it we're going to check over the rest of the unlocks including the book of the dead and then we're going to get into the fiend's tower and completing that before we show off a couple little things that are hidden in the bump in the night dlc but i want you to let me know what you think about bump in the night and 2k originals in the comment section below so make sure you're doing that whilst we're watching this video because it gets a bit crazy i assure you of that The seemingly gentle Bray Wyatt has vanished completely as this match begins, overtaken by pure evil, leaving behind only the Fiend. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Look out! Oh, Exploder wow. suplex! Had it scouted. Big backdrop. What do we got here? Exploder suplex slam. Big flying forearm. We know Bray Wyatt loves to take control of the match. Will he be able to do that here? Well, Michael, I think we'll be seeing him take the fight wherever he wants, whether that's in the ring or outside of it. Or outside the arena. Bray Wyatt has a history of luring superstars to places where the advantage is his alone. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. Oh, what a chancery. And look at the quickness by Wyatt. Oh, 
that hurt? Connected. I think that was harder than the first time, Cole. Oh! Again! Oh, stomping away. It's Bray Wyatt executing. Bray Wyatt, big move coming. Night, night. Bray Wyatt got it done. The seemingly gentle Bray Wyatt has vanished completely as this match begins, overtaken by pure evil, leaving behind only the Fiend. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Oh, again! Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. And now Bray Wyatt pushing forward. Up and around and down into the gut buster. Jake the Snake Roberts doing a great job of turning that around. Wow, what a sequence. Right to the gut. Back elbow. Jeez, you see that? Oh, and it's Wyatt turning the tables. This is going to be bad. Producing a trampling. Bray Wyatt has an impressive talent for getting inside the heads of his opponents. How do you combat that in the ring? If by impressive you mean terrifying, then I agree with you. You've got to stay focused and not let his odd ways get the better of you. Avoid eye contact. Don't Bray Wyatt is going in for the kill. The claw! This Bray Wyatt with the victory! The seemingly gentle Bray Wyatt has vanished completely as this match begins, overtaken by pure evil, leaving behind only the Fiend. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you two bozos interrupting me. Doing Ooh. some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. This is some great offense by Bray Wyatt. Boom! <laughs> we know Bray Wyatt loves to take control of the match. Will he be able to do that here? Well, Michael, I think we'll be seeing him take the fight wherever he wants, whether that's... Bray Wyatt wins.
the seemingly gentle Bray Wyatt has vanished completely as this match begins, overtaken by pure evil, leaving behind only the Fiend. And then there's Kane, one of the most intimidating opponents you can face in the ring. He commands supernatural strength, incredible stamina, and a fiery temper. You mess with Kane and you will get burned. Well scouted reversal there. Oof. Evading possible disaster there. Kane, uh oh. Oh boy. Boom. Big boat. Oh, and it's Wyatt turning the tables. This is going to be bad. Oh my God, look at this. What is he doing here? God, thunderous headbutt. Kane with the excellent move to get out. Oh, and that's the second time. You don't want to get hit with that once, let alone twice. Oh, again! Bray Wyatt, of course, has had allies in the past. How does this game plan change being in this match on his own? Oh, I'm not sure it does. His formidable strength and experience in the ring should be an advantage. And don't forget, Sister Abigail has been a last kiss goodnight for many WWE superstars. Here is Bray Wyatt in position now. Oh, he's shoving it down his throat. Focusing on the head here. Bray Wyatt got it done. The seemingly gentle Bray Wyatt has vanished completely as this match begins, overtaken by pure evil, leaving behind only the Fiend. And on the other side is Sting, the multi-time champion they call the franchise of WCW. And you won't find a man with a stronger internal compass than Sting, and he follows it with furious intensity. Over and over. Now with complete control. Oh, look at this amazing power. Sister Abigail. Oh, he's shoving it down his throat. The claw. This one. Bray Wyatt gets the W. Bray Wyatt wins it. Bray Wyatt has a reputation for being unhinged, but with the emergence of his other self, the Fiend, he has become more twisted and demented than ever before. And on the other end, with a sister Abigail. Oh, he's shoving it down his throat. Forget about it. Good night. Many WWE superstars in the locker room today grew up watching The Undertaker's big matches. Does knowing your opponent that well provide an edge? I think it does, Byron. Pros study each other's tape to look for weaknesses they can capitalize on. The issue is I'm not sure the Phenom has any weaknesses. Well, you can watch highlight reels all night, but until you actually get taken for that last ride or feel the force of a tombstone pile driver, you have no idea what you're in for. Education is no substitute for experience when it comes to the dead man.
Abigail, delivered by Bray Wyatt. Boom! Trying to go for it again. Night, night. Bray Wyatt wins. So there we go, we finished The Fiend's Tower, we've unlocked The Fiend Bray Wyatt, his mask, his attire, everything about The Fiend is now in our game, ready to go. But that's not the most important thing, no, because by playing Bump in the Night, you're also going to unlock some special items as well. For example, in the Chaos at the Crypt, which is a backstage area, you are able to get hold of something called the Book of the Dead. It is a book which is open, you'll see it here. You pick this up and press A with it, and it will open and do this to your opponent. Absolutely unreal, and once you've done this once, it will unlock for you in-game, which means you can then put it on your custom weapons wheel for use in any game mode, which is just crazy. But that's been it from me. Let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. Do you think this is something that they should keep doing with the towers on all the crazy unlockables? Whilst you're there, make sure if you breathe oxygen to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single thing coming up to launch and going forward with both Supercard and 2K20. I've been Super Zomagod Barbecue, you have been awesome, and I will see you in the showcase. We've got the whole thing, it's coming.